Hello friends, Yossi here. Today we're going to talk about Toronto's lofts for sale. Toronto lofts for sale. What do we got? Okay, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Realtor, mortgage agent with Search Realty and Search Mortgage. Fantastic company. Uh, Twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Uh, follow me here. That's what I put. Everything I got, you know, from the phone, boom, it's there. I mentioned it a lot of time and recently I've seen a bunch of uh, really be beautiful, beautiful lofts for sale. So I decided what's better than to um, make a video about it and tell you where you can find loft for sale, how do you buy and sell loft, what are the type of loft, um, what's the deal with Toronto loft, on and on and on. So I'm going to give you like a 60 second introduction, we're going to dive right into it, okay, let's go. Um, first of all, we're launching a site called rebateontario.ca and that site um, is there to help uh, people who bought Ontario real estate homes, condos, uh, properties that are tenanted and you have to pay uh, additional G uh, GST, HST when you close because you're not going to live there, you can get a rebate. <clears throat> the reason is because when you buy a property, um, which is, uh, you're going you're gonna, to, that's the site, rebateontario.ca by the way. Um, when you buy a property um, that you live in yourself, you get a bit of a discount from the government. But when you nod, the government, you know, they always want a piece of your business. That's how it is. The big guy down the street goes, I need a little bit. So there you go. That's what it is. And Carlo Rodriguez, uh, CPA, CA, myself, and soon we're going to introduce a lawyer, uh, are doing this thing where we help you file your HST rebate on new Ontario homes. Okay. <clears throat> so that's about that. Um, a lot of good stuff here. Should you buy a condo from an own developer? On and on and on. But we started with the loft. So one of the um, properties that really caught um, my eye recently was uh, 833 King. I'm going to have a blog post on urbanrealtytoronto.com coming about that probably tomorrow. Um, this is an amazing building. It used to be a perfume factory. It is really unique. Every unit here is, is kind of a little different. They're carved out literally. Um, in this building and this unit 303 is gorgeous because it's facing Stanley Park South okay south of King there's Stanley Park uh, north of King uh, beautiful unit that's from the kitchen here's your uh, island I think uh, shows you the unit so I put on Twitter and then I'm like man there's a lot of good lofts here uh, there's 1100 lands down Toronto loft for sale look at this thing it's unbelievable but so beautiful so I'll show you um, let's talk, looking at these pictures, uh, first of all, the two type of loft, okay? Um, we usually in the industry categorize them by hard loft and soft loft. Hard loft is a building that existed before and then it was converted, uh, remodeled into loft. And the reason it's called loft is because it's lofty, it's high ceiling, it's airy, it's open concept because it was likely a factory previous. And then uh, I used, we used to live in those years ago, and they're not legal to live in, but we do it anyways. And a lot of my friends, you know, all the artists used to live in loft. Um, and throughout the years came people that either built new ones, uh, soft loft, to have the look and feel. They, they are loft, it's a look and feel, but it's brand new. Or you take an older construction, there was a factory before, whatever it was, garage maybe, you know, and, and, and make it into loft. Look at this, I love the um, light fixture here. Okay, so this is 1100 lands though. That's a hard loft because the building existed as an older building. Most of these buildings are from the early 1900s. Okay, so there's just a few of them. And when you find a beautiful hard loft, especially this one, it's treated so nice. They did a lot of kind of old school um, wood and uh, metal frame trim. So it's really nice. So you can see here, and you can see the brickwork. It's just, just super, okay. And uh, whoever designed, remodeled this unit, I think has done a lovely, lovely job. Uh, even the bathroom is nice. So that's uh, 1100 lands down. And it's offered, by the way, at 824.9. Got two bed and two bath. It's uh, over, it's about, you know, 1,000 to, it says here about 1,200 square feet. So the category is uh, mistaken. Well, probably just under 12. That's why they put it here. And you can see uh, what it is. It's a publicly available listing. Okay, so there you go. So that's the one. Okay, popping in. Uh, this is my YouTube, youtube.com slash Kaplan. 
uh, lots of video. This one's going to be 143. I actually have more than those, but that's what I left. I had another um, YouTube channel that I just closed it because I'm focusing on this one. It's going very well. Thank you, everyone, for subscribing, for liking, for disliking. Every little thing helps. So please like, subscribe, dislike, comment, share. It helps. UrbanRealtyToronto.com. That's my main real estate site. Many, many years in the making. There's a lot of gems here. Uh, this one's called Top 5 New Downtown Developments. And um, although it's a little old, it shows you at the time what were the top five and how they turned out. And, um, you know, these are just amazing. I really like, there's the Picasso. I really like um, everything that uh, is show, showing here because it's nice, nice quality information. Okay. Um, another one that uh, is a very popular page is 1717 Avenue Road. Now, it's not a loft. Uh, but it does show up often, and these are really nice units, larger units, fantastic units. And uh, if I were to remodel a loft as a home, it looks something like this. Okay, it's got a kind of a classy look, but it but it's it's opulent. You know, it's open space, so it, it is lofty. <laughs> There's the building. Um, so jumping into a few listings that are available right now, this is uh, King West, 75 Portland. So this is one of the uh, first free developments. Here, this unit is facing west. I just know because I know that's Portland looking north. And uh, there'll be Stewart Street uh, looking west, okay? And that's 66 Portland. And this is inside the unit. So this is a new building, new construction, but it was designed as a loft. So if you want to see it, and I'll tell you in a second how to find loft for sale. Uh, you can see it's got a, it's got a beautiful uh, kind of tucked in kitchen. Uh, here's the bedroom in there, nice and airy. Some of these units in this building have like a one bedroom, two stories, a thousand square feet. Some of them are smaller. Uh, it's it, the building turned out really really well. I really like it. That's a pretty good shot here, so you can give you an idea of what it's like. Okay, it's quite wide, and it's very long, and it does have a nice balcony, so that's good. Uh, this one comes at uh, 649, one bed, one bath, 773 square feet, so it's less than a thousand a foot. That's really nice. Um, 400 Wellington, how do I go back here? Uh, 400 Wellington is a, is a new building. Oh, I lost my mark, but there it is. Uh, so I'll go here, and just so you see, if you go to urbanrealtytoronto.com, Either on the side, you'll see a link that says loft. I just updated these things. And if you go, if you're in the bottom of any article, uh, these are the footer widgets right here. Click on loft, and it'll take you to the loft search on yossi.searchrealty.co, which is my MLS IDX VAO site combined. Okay? So here are all the lofts available for sale right now. A couple of those I already showed you. Okay? And what you can do, uh, we're going to sort here, price high to low. So look at the highest one first, Westmoreland. That's a beautiful church. But first, I want to show you, if you want a Wellington, just stay in the King West because I just showed you 75 Portland. Um, so here it is. Uh, this one, two bedroom, two bath, uh, about 1,900 uh, square feet. The listing says here, two parking spaces. So that's really, really nice. Um, very, very nice unit, okay? So, quick look inside. Very nice kitchen, built in, nice, white, simple, nice floors. You know, I'm looking like I can see, like I can't see scratches from here, which is really good. I like the integrated kitchen. Look at that. That is a proper kitchen. Very nice uh, light fixtures. I really like the all white with accents of chrome and black or maybe speckles of blue and gold on it, kind of Mediterranean style because that's where I come from. So I, I kind of enjoy that palette. Okay, very, very nice. Uh, the floor color is really nice. The photos are also very good. You can see the ceiling is exposed concrete ceiling. Now you can seal that uh, those ceilings with varnish, water-based or oil-based. Um, a urethane, polyurethane of sorts, very thin, you know, all these materials. Uh, and what they will give you, they will, they will um, seal the concrete. Concrete can dust sometimes, so it's a good idea. You can even do it with the roller or get a contract to do it for you. 
okay? But that's a good idea to do is if you have floors, do the same wherever you have concrete, seal it. I think it's better. Okay, so here you can see it's a nice large space. Uh, and it goes on and on and on. There's various rooms here. This unit is uh, vacant. You see they have all custom cabinetry built on the side there. So that's a lot of storage space. Um, very nice, slick, modern bathroom, but kind of cool. You know, the cabinetry is hanging in there. There's toilet paper right there. It's like it's, it's real. Okay, it's good. Uh, here's another look with a look of the room next to it. So it's really nice. Uh, here is a den slash bedroom slash library slash workspace with nice accents of wood and a beautiful chandelier. That's, that's a very good unit. I'm going to skip here. Now here's the cool thing. They have on the balcony, which is large, they have a jacuzzi put in. <laughs> so you can have a little jacuzzi and uh, look over the downtown you know, with your champagne. And I think this must be some LED light here lobby and I think we should be right here on this unit here so it's, it's quite nice it's quite up there uh, it's facing east and south because this is on the north side of Wellington so really nice okay really really nice I like it uh, very nice unit so that's 400 Wellington uh, comes with an asking of 2.11 pen hours 1101 if you like to see it give me a shout I'll be happy to give you a tour if you just want to peek, you can do it right here. This is the uh, church at Westmoreland. This is this is phenomenal. So first of all, let's see. First of all, I'll show you where you are on the map. Okay, so you're in the Dover Court uh, Village area. So Blue and Ossington, very very nice. That's proper. Here's your street view. That just comes right out of Google, so you know where you are. Right, if they tag it right, you'll see it right here okay and the unit I'm showing you is right here in this uh, in this uh, three pane triptych uh, area with the slanted roof that's we're gonna go in right now scroll down and let's look at the photo so and and it says about this home an incomparable heritage residence craftily crafted from two original suites so that's a hard loft it's got two bed four baths it's about 28 something hundred square feet large. It's got private elevator and underground parking for two cars. That is very, very nice, okay? Um, the monthly association fee, the condo fees, minor fees, 1377, the property tax almost a thousand a month. That's a massive unit, my friend. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's take a peek inside. That is nice, all white nice accents, metal finishing. This is a classic, classic, classic unit, okay? Uh, all closet at the front. The electronics are nicely hidden. Uh, lowered ceiling with a bit of wood there. Just proper, okay? Here's your uh, foyer, waiting area, dining room. Uh, look at the ceilings in this room quite nicely done in the kitchen and just proper just open so that's really I really like this looks like looks like a fancy restaurant in there but that's what you're paying the money for uh, here we got uh, another room with the door I think it's to the outside that must be uh, the roof and here you got a beautiful painted brick this room's been done nice with drywall some drop ceiling some pot lights everything is done really nice here Lots of cabinetry, beautiful office, very clean. When you get a place clean like that, where it's all white with accents and framing, I like it because you can bring your own color to it. Whatever you're going to put in, the color will just pop up. So you don't need much. That's a nice detail right there. That's a nice bedroom. Okay, here's the bedroom open to a little private balcony for the bedroom. It's proper. Look at this. Uh, I think that's like a, I don't know if that's part of the kitchen, probably, maybe a cabinetry room, that's a secondary bedroom, I believe, goes on and on, it's really nice, okay, that is the attic, that's where the triptych window is, that's where the attic of the old church is, so that is really, really nice, and you get to like hang out up here, and do your thing.
read your book, exercise, meditate, whatever you like, okay? So, uh, I think here, there we go, we up there. So that was uh, 40 Westmoreland. If you want a tour of this property, any more information about it, you may shout. It's for sale for $2,885,000, okay? Toronto Law for sale. Uh, next we got, um, I picked um, this uh, cheapo unit, 563, but that's cheapo these days, at 365 Dundas East. That building been uh, renovated really nice. The whole Dundas East, you know, used to be so scary and now it's so much nicer. So a couple pictures for you. It's also done with painted, white painted brick. Um, it's not a $3 million condo, but hey, it's really nice and it's a true hard loft, okay? So... That's a viable solution if you're looking for a nice loft. You're basically, you know, a couple blocks uh, east of Young Street. And the streetcar is right there on Dundas. and take you right to the subway. Uh, nice polished uh, floor. Okay, that's like original polished floor. I really like that. There's no, there's no tiles. Put uh, a couple of space age uh, uh, washer dry in there. Nice bathroom. Okay, that is a proper room, my friends. That is good. That is good. Go upstairs. And surprise, what do you know? You got this uh, tiled uh, up room. I think this could be done a lot nicer. Um, so much potential here. Lots of space. Bit of a rooftop place. What else do you want? So that's uh, 365, 365 Dundas Street East, only 213. Over 600 square feet, 563. That's good. Okay. Uh, there's 8 Wellesley, that's an older building. Um, let me show you in the map. So you're basically at Young Street. Okay. And let's see if the street view works here. So look at this. Nope, that's the parking. That's the building here, I believe. And there's a video. I'm just going to go in the photos. They're nice and crisp. This is really nice. So it's a corner unit, windows on each side, properly done. Looks like very high ceilings. So here's a bit of a view. I'll go back. That's a good shot here. Kind of a kitchen. And it's like you can put a whole seating area and the full dining room in that room. Now, you, can, you don't get that anymore. You, you know, you can have this or that. You have the couch. You don't have a dining room. You have a dining room. You can do a couch. Lots of space here. That's good. That is good. That is good. Nice high ceiling there. That is a lovely bedroom. You can go your own way. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's a nice bathroom. Nicely done. Nice contrast. That's what I'm saying. Like All white, some glass, a touch of chrome, and just, just the backsplash here. That's all you get. Okay. That's a, probably a secondary bedroom. That's a beautiful uh, second shower. So here's the unit. Okay. That was uh, 8 Wellesley East, 2 bed, 2 bath, about 1,100 square feet at 6678888. So, you know, around 600 a foot something, 10.5 ceilings. Uh, 833 King West. Did I show you this already? This is really nice. I think I showed it at the beginning a few pictures. Uh, yeah, I show from Twitter, but look at this. So you can see the ceiling is the real deal. The floor is the real deal. It's a real hard loft. Okay, nine and a half foot ceiling on this one. I know that already. Rare, rare unit. Rarely comes on the market. If you're in the market for loft on, on King West, that's the one. Mind you, you can rip it out, do whatever you want with it, but I think it's pretty cool the way it is. The furniture adds a lot. They have a lot of color in here, so it's a, it's a color. Very colorful unit, a lot more than what I've showed you. The other one, which are all white, um, but you can make it all white too if you like that better. I think uh, it's kind of an open concept here. I think they've done a really nice job. There's a kind of heavy curtain to close us on the bed. Okay, so that's that's like out of magazine, this place. Look, they put this uh, statue of these people climbing. That's really cool. That's a really nice creative use of space. Okay. Quite the unique unit. They those barely, rarely, almost neverly come on market. A three three, King West Stanley Park, the Perfume Factory. That's your view. They'll be all blooming. 
in a week or two. There's your lobby. It's kind of a 3D render of the top. Um, that's the building, but actually it's on the right. That's not the right picture for it. Okay, so that's A33, King West, 799, Unit 303. That's also um, over a thousand a foot reported, one bed, one bath, lovely unit. Uh, moving to the east side, 68 Broadview. That is one of my favorite listings right now. You're going to hear, if I don't know if that's the top floor, but if it's not, you're going to hear the people walking over you, which uh, you got to be okay with because it's an old place. Really, really nice. Just proper, properly done. You can see how it was integrated, old and new, brought in together. I just, I really like this. Okay, that's uh, very warm. Although it's old, it's warm. It's got the brick and beam. One of the original loft buildings in Toronto, 68 Broadview. So that's uh, Queen and Broadview, basically, just south of Queen. Okay, so that's that one. And that comes at uh, 7749, 775. So this one is about a thousand bucks a foot, almost 800. So just under a thousand a foot for this one. Okay. Uh, we looked at this one already. Just get another look because that's kind of really, really nice. You know, if any of them would go in the magazine, it's this one. Okay, that's 1100 lands down. 825, 8249. So way less than a thousand a foot. So how do you find lofts, okay? You go to urbanrealtytoronto.com or any of my sites, click on loft here, or if you're on an article page, you'll show up on the side, click on loft, and you'll get to yossi.searchrealty.co where the loft search opens for your program, the, a bunch of these, it'll populate itself, and then you can just hit it either by the map or anything here, okay? I think my uh, browser uh, privacy is blocking the, blo the pop-up. Okay, so and there are more lofts. So remember, uh, an o a, um, a soft loft is a, is a new construction like this one here, 608 Richmond. Okay, the Harlow, uh, Brad Lamb built that. Very, very nice. I really like how this turned out. And you can see they have uh, exposed ceiling and walls. Okay, so seal those. And it's giving you, it's, and, and that's the building. So it looks like an old factory, like they used to look, but it's brand new. So it'll be a soft loft. A soft loft means it's brand new design, brand new building, created to feel like, created for that feel. Okay, this building also has nice amenities. It's got like a nice club style uh, chairs and, and uh, lobby. It's got some nice gym here. That looks pretty good. It's got a party room or a multi-use room, whatever you call it, on and on and on, okay? So that's how you find the loft. You go to the loft link, and they'll take you to yossi.searchfilter.co. It's already programmed everything inside, and then you can just go and see what you like, okay? So um, how do you find lofts for sale? You find them this way. Uh, some of the nice ones actually come and go very quickly. So if you're looking for a loft, it's quite a unique thing. Um, here's one at the Liberty Village at the commercial side. It's, it's really nice. There's almost no neighbors here. Um, those are amazing. I helped sell this building originally when it came up. Okay. Those are uh, 17 or 18 foot ceilings. Rare, rare, rare. This one's just over a million. Okay. So that's also a conversion. It looks brand new, but it's actually a conversion. It's a hard loft. Okay. So there you go. Now, I think it's looking uh, south and that uh, east here pretty sure okay so that's what you got here so that's how you find the lofts if you're interested in a building in particular uh, you can always give me a shout and i can um, either know about something that's coming up or get a search going for you and program a search a specific building area bedrooms bathroom whatever it is whatever you like your criteria i'll program it, and then when he finds it he'll send you what he, the system will send you what he finds also, there's a lot of stuff coming at my desk every day um, that is sometimes, you know, doesn't even go here because it just happens so quickly. And when people know about them, they know about them. So that's what we do with the loft. It's a, it's a unique product. Um, I love them. They're not for everyone. Some people just like the box. That's okay, too. It's all good. Um, you can search here for loft. You'll find something. Uh, this is my YouTube 
twitter.com slash yossi kaplan please like subscribe and dislike too twitter.com slash yossi kaplan these are the fast fast uh, updates come here uh, if I find anything good, good listings, this is a, a rental that I have right now. Just throw it here. Okay, so if I have a good uh, listing for you, I throw it on the Twitter. And then you can come here. That's a rental. Okay, the condo, assignment, some good assignments. This is also another uh, soft loft that was sold already, 5049. What a steal. Okay, if there's a new video comes up, everything you'll find on Twitter. Uh, hstrebit.ca that's uh, coming up a CPA CA doing your HST rebate for you that's it